everybody, welcome back to another product review. This time around, I'm taking a look at the Record Roller by VinylVac. Now, if you remember a couple years ago, I reviewed this right here, the VinylVac itself. This is an attachment to any shop vac that turns it into an economical vacuum-based record cleaning system. And now they're back with this, which is like an in-between. Every time you put on a record, you use this kit. So we're gonna get into what comes in the kit, how it works, then we'll wrap it up with my final thoughts. But first things first, full disclosure, VinylVac did send me this kit free of charge, but remember my opinions are my own. All right, let's begin. So real quick, right on the back of this box here, you get four items, which includes a microfiber cloth, the record roller itself, anti-static stylus brush, and an anti-static record brush carbon fiber. Let's just open it up. So yeah, there is the box. We'll just uh, set this aside for now. There is, you've seen these, uh, they're kind of ubiquitous these days. I'm like, I'm not gonna go over this too much. This is your pretty standard uh, stylus brush. Uh, of course, you could use one of those polymer-based things. Here is your microfiber cloth. It's uh, actually fairly large. It's meant to uh, place your record right on that. And then of course we have instructions, but I'll show you how it works right now. So this is the record roller itself, comes in a nice case, which helps protect the sticky part, which is the blue, but I'll go ahead and take it out now so you can get a better look at it. I'm not gonna touch it with my fingers, and uh, I've used this, as you can tell, there's, there's stuff on there, but, um, so yeah, there's the record roller stuff. So let's show you, I'll show you how it works. Now, ideally you would have already done a deep clean on a record and you're going to to uh you know you're going to play this new record you've already cleaned it this one isn't that clean but i figured this would be a great way to show you uh what it picks up so uh, we'll start with side a here um i don't know how well that picks up but there's a lot of fine dust particles on there and i i personally do not like these i don't feel like they really do all that much i prefer where what did i do with it it's around here somewhere you know, more of a, a velvet felt based type of record brush to kind of pick up any loose dust. So, okay, so you do a pass with that. Now, I recommend not having the record on the turntable and I'll show you why right now, because this thing is very sticky. And you, you kind of, you just go along it and it's, it's amazing how much this sticks. Look at that. <laughs> um, it's hard to kind of go in a circle with this, I find, but uh, something like that. And already it's making a huge, huge difference. Uh, again, I, I would need to, you know, first do a wet clean with this to kind of get rid of some of these um, fingerprints. But I don't know how well that picks up, but you can see all kinds of, of hairs and, and and all kinds of dust particles on here. Now to clean this, they, the instructions say to run it under warm water and I, I'm i still getting the hang of it. I haven't gotten it completely clean because um, then you gotta set it to dry and it's like, well, that's kind of awkward. How do, you, how do you set this to dry without it getting more dusty? So I don't know, I'm still working on that part, but uh, if you guys have any tips or hints, let me know. And you know, I should mention that this kind of polymer is very similar to, to this. I don't know if it's the same material, but it seems like it is. <laughs> so if you're familiar with these types of stylus cleaners, this is pretty much the same thing, but in a roller form. I only have two minor nitpicks. The first one being that it's, I kind of already mentioned it, but it, it's a little obtuse to clean it. I haven't quite uh, gotten it super clean to where it was uh, like how it came out of the factory. There's, you know, even when I run it underwater, it seems to still, there's still some stubborn hairs on it and stuff. So um, that could just be more user error. I, I don't, I, you know, I haven't found the trick yet. Uh, and then the other negative is I, I don't, I, I wish it was not in this kit because, um, you know, I got plenty of these cloths and I got, I got it stylus brush and and I don't really like these record brushes so I, I wish you could just buy it um, as the record roller um, 
because uh, I, I don't need these other things. I think this product is great. It is not a lint roller. It is more sophisticated than that and it's reusable. Um, and I, it really helps pick up the stubborn dust and hair that gets on your records that these brushes or those carbon fiber brushes don't pick up or they just keep coming back for, for whatever reason because of static. This thing takes care of it and it's super easy to use. I, I like that it comes in its own little case to, to keep it from um, sticking to other things you don't want it to get stuck to. Overall, I gotta say I'm impressed with the record roller. This is the first polymer-based record roller type device that I've used, and I think it works incredibly well. It's gonna go right next to my other products I use every time I play a record because I think it's vital. I think every vinyl enthusiast should have something like this in, in their record room because it really does the job well. It picks up those stubborn pieces of hair and dirt that get left behind by these other brushes and so yeah with all that said i highly recommend the record roller all right everybody that will do it for today let me know your thoughts down below have you tried a record roller like this one have you tried this one have you tried it at competitors let me know what you think of those until then i want to thank you all so much for watching i'm your vinyl geek and i'll catch you on the flip side Hey everyone, thanks again for watching this review. Now, if you want to see more product reviews, I got a playlist right there, as well as a video that YouTube will choose for me.